Hey everybody, welcome to a playthrough of the Urukai. We are getting deep into the saga, and I've had some fun times here. So uh, this one is particularly challenging because I lose a hero from the very beginning. Uh, kind of a callback to Escape from Dol Guldur, um, but with a Bond of Friendship deck and an extra hero to start because of the uh, campaign hero. It's not as horrible or doesn't feel as crippling as it would an escape from Dogledore. Before we do all the setup, let's uh, take a look and see what we have in the campaign log and what we have in the deck and how we're going to try to attack this and beat this quest. So you'll notice that I'm playing this a little bit out of order. I had a I had an error that I had to correct, so um, I went ahead before I realized the error and played Helm's Deep and beat that. But now I need to go back and play the Urukai. So um, similar to what happened a couple weeks ago with um, A Journey in the Dark. Um, actually, it's, it was the same error. If you want to read about it, you can you can look at the blog. So I just want to make it right as best I can before we move on to the, uh, the next set of stuff. So Mary is my captured hero. I, I picked Mary in The Breaking of the Fellowship. Uh, doesn't give me access to cancellation, but you know he's the one that's contributing the least to my you know, overall things. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Let's take a look at the deck. So in this, we are questing, yes, but we are attacking and defending and fighting and fighting off archery and all sorts of crazy things. So we have to make sure that we can kind of do it all here. This is a frustratingly uh, difficult scenario for the hobbits. And I think it's mainly because they have low hit points. Um, if, I, if they each had an extra hit point or two, I think that this would be less of an issue. But you got to dance with the one that brung you. That's that's what they. That's what I was told when I was growing up. So um, they've gotten me this far. So hopefully we can uh, beat this scenario pretty well. So let's set up the scenario. If we look here, we can do campaign setup again. We are changing heroes here, and this is this was what happens in the in the campaign, and it's. It's phenomenal. So some are like Frodo quests, quests that use Frodo Baggins as a fellowship hero. And this is the very first Aragorn quest that uses Aragorn as a fellowship hero. So because Aragorn is now the major character or the fellowship hero, you have to rearrange and change out your encounter deck and do all sorts of stuff. So um, so that's what's happening here. It says we're playing in campaign mode. Um, so we remove Gildor and Glorian and Mr. Underhill. Mr. Underhill is out of the campaign pool. So that is something to keep in mind here is out of the campaign pool means no longer will Mr. Underhill ever be able to be used. But then it says, um, remove each burden with the following burden set icons from the encounter deck. So these aren't removed from the campaign pool. We're going to see them later on, but they are removed for now because they affect the Frodo, uh, the Frodo quests. So Gandalf's delay, we don't need, thank goodness. And Weight of the ring we don't need because there's no ring bear. That's the campaign setup. Okay, so now the quest card it says make the estimnet. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce that. Estimnet, estimnet, estimnet. If it's pronounced like column M N together, I don't know. Tolkien was a philologist, so he knew probably exactly how to pronounce that. If anybody knows how to pronounce it, feel free to guide me. It says add Ugluk and two Isengard to the staging area. Each player chooses one non-fellowship hero he controls to be captive and places it face up underneath to Isengard. Okay, so that's who we're gonna do this here. Legolas, what do your elf eyes see? The Uruks turn northeast. They're taking the hobbits to Isengard! We put, we set the pursuit value to 10. So it seems like it's one of these things here that's like a time mechanic. <laughs> it's not a time mechanic, which I'm thankful for, but it's like a time mechanic. So we're trying to catch up to the orcs before this gets up to 30. If this gets up to 30, we lose the game. And so right now it's a 10. That's about the, <laughs> that's, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how well we do. The, the encounter deck is going to seek to add pursuit values to this. And I am going to try to do my best to limit the amount of pursuit 
I can uh, take. This is another one of those scenarios where um, where Bilbo is just uh, a star. Even though Ugluk has a toughness of three, so we're not going to be doing damage to him, at the very least, um, I can cancel his threat from the get-go, and that's going to help out a bunch. I guess we can get started. I still have all these things to put into play. Old bogey stories. I'm going to put this on to Sam. And old bogey stories is going to get used or could get used more often than not in this scenario because I'm going to, I may have dead cards in my hand. So um, it's possible in some of my other playthroughs, I, I've used old bogey stories and it was um, to great effect, actually. Um, so Tireless Ranger comes out onto Sam again. He's one of them rangers. Leaf wrapped Lembus is going to be put onto, I guess, Falco. Lembus. Elvish way bread. One small bite is enough to fill the stomach of a grown man. How many did you eat? Four. And Andril and Sting get shuffled into the encounter deck, or into the into my player deck. And then overcome by grief, we want to put this up here so that I remember that it's in play. And pursued by the enemy is going to go into the encounter deck. I can't believe that I forgot to go through all of that. So now I can flip this over. And X is the pursuit value, which again, that's for me, it's a pain in the neck, but it's a pretty awesome mechanic when the pursuit value is the number of quest points because, you know, you're, you're trying to balance quest points and being able to quest while being able to fend off the enemies. And it, it's just, it's just a great mechanic. You can see that I'm going to have to increase the pursuit value by one for each enemy at the end of the combat phase. So there's a, there's a trigger there. And then this just naturally goes up by one every round. I guess we get to started here. Okay. Tree beard at the very beginning. So first thing I'm going to do is use Shire Folk and then I'll bring out build a pony so now the question is do i want to bring out tree beard now or do i want to wait see i think i want to bring out tree beard and get him online as soon as possible tree beard some call me and i'm so thankful that this guy cancels out that guy that's going to help a lot so the estimate after estimate is explored add one resource to each hero's resource pool so that's going to help also. I just want to make sure that I get through the active location and that I'm able to put some progress on the on the current quest. So let's do this. So that's two. I think I'm just going to quest for seven. And there's nothing in the staging area. Remember, Bilbo is canceling the threat of Ugluk. Ugluk is not immune to player card effects. So, And Bilbo's response is kind of unhobbity in that it doesn't matter what the engagement cost of the enemy is. You just get to pick an enemy. So we will reveal a card. Strange weariness. Each character committed to the quest gets minus one until the end of the round. So I have one, two, three, four characters committed to the quest. I'm down to three, which is fine. Um, because I still am able to get through the estimnet. So I get through the estimnet. Estim, estimnet. <laughs> I don't know. But that gives me a resource for every uh, for every one of my ally or heroes. I don't get to make any progress on the current quest, but I still am doing okay. So I get to increase the pursuit value at the end of combat phase by one. Is quickened. They must have caught our scent. Hurry! Come on, Ghibli! Three days of light's pursuit. No food, no rest, no sign of our quarry, but what fair rock can tell. And then I have to increase the pursuit value by another one at the end of the refresh phase because of the two Isengard. OK, 
Okay, I am going to play Frodo's Intuition. Now, I only have three Hobbit heroes, but it's enough to make me feel okay. So now I will put Rosie Cotton into play for two leadership. Rosie Cotton dancing. She had ribbons in her hair. If ever I was to marry someone, and then I'll put Gaffer Gamgee into play, and that is pretty good. I'm starting to get a handful of cards that I'm not able to use. So I can't use Odo Proudfoot, I can't use Unexpected Courage, and I have an extra tree beard. We'll see what happens, but I'm thankful that I have a fast hitch in my hand. Okay, so there's three. A quest for ten, and there's zero in the staging area. So there's the Plains of Rohan, and that has one threat. I could have gone through this pretty quickly. <laughs> I'll use Rosie Cotton to go up to 12 because I don't have any other reason to use Rosie this round. So that's 12. So that's 11 progress on the quest. 11 progress is not horrible. I will travel to the Plains of Rohan. I will increase the pursuit value by one at the end of combat. And then I'll do it at the end of the refresh phase. Put a fast hitch onto Sam. Now I think I can quest. Let's see, I need to make seven. This is four, and I need three more. So there's three. Nope, two. I'll do eight. Nobody's engaged, so I get doomed one, then surge. And each player must choose to either return an enemy engaged with him to the staging area or reveal an encounter card. I have to reveal an encounter card. And I get the Isengard Uruk. Either assign three damage among characters you control or reveal an additional. So I will do three damage among characters I control. The Pincushion of Treebeard. He's going to take three damage. Let's clean up the staging area. Let's see, that's two. And how much did I quest for? Two, three, six, seven, eight. So I think now is the time, right? Okay, so I threw the Plains of Rohan. I'm going to go find an Uruk High enemy and put it into play in the staging area. So I'm going to just put him into play. Okay. I do have to reveal it, but... Not. <laughs> There's nothing to reveal. Okay, it says X is the pursuit value after it is defeated. Reduce the pursuit value by one. So let's let's do this. So right now the pursuit value is fourteen. He's gonna engage, and that's frustrating right now I need to do archery 2 so I think I will do 2 damage to Aragorn okay I will ready Sam and how can I, I need to do 10 to Ugluk in order to kill it. And I don't know if I can do 10 to Ugluk right now. I will defend 
Ugluk with Treebeard, though. Discard a non-objective attachment you control. Okay. Thank you, old bogey stories. <laughs> okay. And so Treebeard takes a damage. I will ready Treebeard. I will do four, seven, Eight, hmm. eight. That is a bummer. <laughs> so that's one, seven, three. This that's four. Okay, it is what it is, right? I could use leaf wrapped lembas. I think I will. I'm gonna I'm gonna use leaf wrapped lumbus to do this attack. And that's gonna get me up to four, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, eleven. And so that puts Ugluk in the victory display, and that reduces my pursuit value by one. Catching up to these guys. Okay, so that takes a little bit of pressure off. Whew. Okay, now what? Um. I think we just try to quest. I'm going to put this guy into play for five. One, two, three, four, five. And putting him into play, I'm going to draw three cards. Question mark. Let's see. One, two, three. <laughs> and I get a whole bunch of cards that I can't use. I can use Thorn Gill. Yay. <laughs> okay. I was hoping to draw into my other um my other Frodo's intuition. Okay. I think can I do 13? Uh, I will target this guy with Frodo. That leaves two in the staging area, so that's going to be two. Sorry, that's one, three, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, I forgot to raise my the pursuit value by one. Because at the end of the round. So that's 12, 16. Is that really what I want to do? I guess 16, 16 it is. It says either immediately end the quest phase, increase or deal one damage to each character committed to the quest. Hmm. What does it say? This effect cannot be canceled. So I'll just raise the pursuit value by three. I'm okay with that. One, two, three. So that's um, 16 versus 2, so that's 14 progress. Okay. I would normally do 1 damage to this guy. 
but his toughness value doesn't let me do that. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to engage this guy. That's that's what I have to do. So Sam readies. I have to take two damage somewhere. Uh, Gandalf. Gandalf, you're a great archery soak. Okay. And so now I will bring Gaffer Gamgee back into my hand to cancel this attack. That's exactly what I have to do. So that attack fizzles. Now I have to do six to this guy. So I can do four, seven, and kill the Isengard Uruk with Sam. Because Sam is two, four, seven. Yep. Okay. Uh, I killed an enemy. So this goes down by one, but I have to increase the pursuit value by one at the end of the refresh phase. <laughs> silly, 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 silly. You know why it's silly? It's because I have all these spirit cards in my hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play. Oh, I don't even have old bogey stories. I was gonna play. I was gonna use old bogey stories because this is the perfect time to use it. I'm gonna play Gaffer because I want to be able to cancel an attack. Um, I guess the best thing to do with Thorngill. I, I, I mean, I could put it onto Bilbo. That's the only target I have for Bil is Bilbo, and I could draw another ra another card next time around. But I just, I don't think I'm going to have to unless I get wrecked this time around. Um, yeah, I think that this is probably my last round. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Okie doke. So now time to quest, right? Okay. Two. Bilbo is still targeting the Uruk fighter. So that's three, six, eight, uh, eight, ten. I'll do ten. And there is zero in the staging area. Okay, so let's do this. So we get the wold. It says. After the wall is explored, each player draws one card in to travel there. So that's two. Increase the pursuit value. Uh, that's two threat. So I make eight progress, and that allows me to rescue Mary. So Mary, you have been rescued, my friend. Didn't take me very long to do it. Okay, so now we flip this over, and it says if the pursuit value is 25 or lower, players must choose Intimidation, Hands of a Healer, Forewarned, or Leader of Men. Okay, so I'm going to pick Forewarned. I mean, that's the, that's the one... It's the one that makes the most amount of sense with this deck that I am playing. So forewarned is right here. Okay, so forewarned, and that's going to go on to Sam, of course, because he's a ranger because of Tireless Ranger. So that just allows me to cancel some shadow effects, which is really nice. Okay, and then it says um, something about beyond all hope which is if we sacrificed an enemy to the, or not, um, not an enemy, if we sacrificed a hero to the Balrog, we get to bring that back. It says if the player controls more than three 
Uh, uh, he must remove heroes from the campaign log until he controls only three changing heroes as a result of earning beyond all. So here's, here's what I'm going to say to that is that I think that the intention is that I don't have to do that. Um, when I'm playing bond of friendship, I think that, you know, that, um, bond of friendship, um, allows you to choose four heroes. So when I, next time I put bond of friendship into play, that means that I can put four heroes into play, um, at the beginning and that'll be fine. Okay. So again, it's, it's probably a little rules iffy there, but, um, I don't know. It's the intention and the fun of the game. So that's what I'm planning on doing. Okay. So let's update the campaign log. Let's see what score I got first here. 60 is that 64 holy cow that's really low <laughs> okay so 64 and i earned uh tireless ranger but i used leaf wrapped lembas okay so out of the campaign pool because of the urukai is leaf wrapped limbus um, but I did earn um, forewarned and I'll put the s in parentheses because that is um, and that's gonna go on Sam so today is 630 again I had an <laughs> I had an error that I had to come back and do this. So, um, so now I guess 64 is the final score I get. So, um, there it is. I guess you guys can, um, see Helm's Deep next week. Okay. Have a great day, everybody.